In this video, we're going to show you a couple of condos here in the downtown Mississauga area of Square One, as well as another townhouse towards the end that's more closer to the here Ontario and Dundas area. So this video, we're going to tour these properties and we're going to show you what they look like. So we're going after it right now. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Saul here with my partner, Joanna, and we're with the GTA Elite Real Estate team right here in Mississauga, Ontario, as well as the surrounding GTA. And if this is your first time to our channel, we do a lot of videos about different neighborhoods, different restaurants, and all the different types of properties that you can uh, expect here in Mississauga. And if you like what you see here, make sure you tap that subscribe button, hit that little bell so you're notified every single time we do a brand new video. And we're getting lots of phone calls, emails, and text messages, and we absolutely love it. So if you're in the market for a home out here in the GTA or Mississauga, reach out to us by texting the number right here below or visiting our website at findgtalistings.com. And if you're thinking about moving out to Mississauga, we got your back when it comes to Mississauga living. All right, let's get right to the video. So the first one we're going to be looking at is at 4090 Living Arts Drive, centrally located right in the heart of Mississauga's downtown. You're close to the library, you're close to Square One, City Hall, Celebration Square, and we're going to show you this one first. As you can see, we're in a one bedroom and a den here at the Living Arts Building. I actually like this building a lot. I've owned a property here before, and unfortunately I did sell it uh, two years ago, but I'm still interested in possibly buying one for myself or for potential buyers. I like to preview them as well. So this is built by Daniels, very reputable builder. And we've got a uh, really nice layout. This one has a den, like I mentioned, with a master bath bedroom right here. It's all staged, so when we show properties, we like to show ones that are staged so you can actually see the full potential of it. So the listing agent here um, made this really well done. So as you can see, it's got really nice floor. This is actually vinyl flooring. So this is the, the new stuff. It's uh, vinyl planks. It's very sturdy and it's been freshly painted. You've got a really nice north view of Mississauga here. Yeah, you got the, the twin tower next door to it over here. Um, you've got views of the valley there at the, at the far end. It's beautiful. Beautiful, nice sunny day here. Okay, so one place I like to draw your attention to is the type of heating in these types of condos. So this is heated by a heat pump here. So it uses electricity so you can cool it and, and warm it up as you wish. And it actually makes this place really nice. It's central air. And right now it's about 30 degrees outside, so it's really hot, but it's nice and cool in here. So come on in, let's show you the uh, master bedroom. The master bedroom fits a queen size bed or a double. Um, might be too small for a king, but this is sufficient enough for most people. And then you got the balcony that's coming off the master bedroom. Yeah, take a look at that. So I love cooking, so I need a nice kitchen. This kitchen actually is not bad. It's decent size. I'm not a big fan of these upper cabinets, but you know, this is how they built it so that you could put 
decorations in there if you want. And then you have marble, no, sorry, this is granite countertops. Um, it is a little bit dated. It's, this thing was built in 2007 or eight. So uh, this is a style from back then, but you could renovate them. And then you've got your, your basic uh, cabinets here. Um, and then they have done some backsplash work over here. They put in some brand new appliances, very nice touch. Um, but yeah, it definitely feels well maintained. Let's go take a look at the den because if I'm a buyer and I need some place to work, I've got a, a den here or a possible second bedroom. Um, so yeah, it's, it's decent size. It doesn't have a window, but you could add like, for example, they put a, a mirror here and you've got enough space for a, a desk or you could even just put like a nice uh, single bed in here as well. So this is definitely a possibility if somebody wants something affordable here in the square one area. And then you do have one bathroom only. I, th I do wish they had two bathrooms. So in the future, we'll show you a place with a one plus a den and a two bath. That also is a nice feature to purchase if you're in the market for a home. So yeah, take a look. It's a very basic standard uh, washroom. Yeah, nothing too fancy, but it is clean and workable. Yeah, and this is a nice little f fixture here. I like that. This is a very good option for a first time home buyer or investors. Uh, you can rent it out for $2,200, $2,300 a month. It's a beautiful unit, like it has everything that you can uh, need. It has one parking and it comes with a locker. So the building also comes with indoor pool, uh, theater, uh, sauna, gym. There's many things that you can use uh, while you're in the same building. And the best part that I love is that a second cup downstairs. So you can, if you're on the run, you can just grab your coffee and go. All right, so we found, what's your name, sir? Uh, Muhammad Irfan. So we're with Muhammad Irfan, and he lives in Living Arts here in Mississauga downtown. And uh, so what do you think about this neighborhood for somebody that wants to move to Mississauga? Would you recommend it? Absolutely. The, the reason I moved over here was because of the fact that uh, this, has, this area has a lot of facilities nearby. So there's a huge library, uh, there's the Celebration Square which has activities all during the summer, there's a splash pad for the kids, um, the, building, uh, the buildings have a lot of amenities yes. and plus there are lots of uh, nationalities over here. So it's very multicultural. Multicultural. Yeah. yeah, that's what we noticed as well. I used to live in this building as well years ago. Right. And uh, we, we love the amenities, the swimming pool, the hot tub. So are you using a, uh, that a lot? We, we do, yeah. yeah. We do. And there's also a nice theater, which uh, we absolutely yes, enjoy. Yes, there, is, there well. is. Although everything was closed during the COVID yeah. times, yes. but it's all opening up now. And how about uh, for the family? I know you mentioned you have kids. Absolutely. And how is it for the kids for school? And, and, and is there a bus here? Uh, yeah, the school bus comes over here yeah. and it picks up uh, the kids uh, directly from the building. Oh, excellent. Yeah. So that's always important to our viewers that are moving in here. Right. And right. Um, what about for shopping? I know is, is uh, groceries and stuff. What would you say about that? Walmart is uh, right nearby. It's like a seven, eight minute walk. Yes. Plus there's a uh, square one. So we have a lot of uh, other shopping over there as well yes and uh, other grocery stores for example that this building has a 24-hour convenience store as well yeah did you hear that they have a 24 7 is it Raba? Raba, absolutely yeah Raba, uh, fine food so you can get all your major groceries done for milk and eggs and in all in the that. winters if you don't want to step out you just enter Raba through your building yeah so that's very convenient Mohammed, we really appreciate your time and we're glad that there's positive news living in here and uh, hopefully our viewers take some value out of that thank you pleasure speaking with you all right, now we are on our second viewing here at 3939 Duke of York. This one is strategically located right across from Celebration Square and Square One. So let's go inside and take a look at this beautiful condo.
All right, welcome to the second showing here at 3939 Duke of York. This is a one bedroom with a potential den and two bath, which is really nice. So as you can see, this one is built uh, a little bit newer than the, than the living arts, in my opinion. Uh, I like the fact that it has really high ceiling. This is about nine foot, so this actually looks bigger. And uh, the quality is pretty basic. You know, you got some probably updated flooring, which is okay, maybe need some replacement. Um, the one thing I like about this is that I could probably rent it out for six months to a year to a potential tenant and the rent again on this one you're looking at about 2400 a month. Yeah, so this one actually has um, granite up here for the island bar, but then it has laminate. So I would probably want to renovate this a little bit, but it is still move-in ready for somebody that's a first-time buyer. You got the stainless steel appliances, which is really nice. These are nice kitchen aid, um, dishwasher and a stove. Again, high cabinets, high ceiling. Um, and then this portion of the, of the unit is actually considered the media room or maybe the den. So you could put like a little desk here, but I don't think you can actually use it as a second bedroom or put a bed in here. Um, and then here's your powder room. It doesn't have a full washroom, but it does have a sink and toilet, which is okay, but I would rather prefer something with a, with a bathroom as well in case you have guests over, but it is a smaller unit. So it justifies that. This is actually a bonus. And then you have your laundry inside here. And overlooking the kitchen, you have the living room. It's pretty decent size, very rectangular square shape. And you've got floor to ceiling windows, which is really nice. You can get the whole view of uh, you know, the lake here. So you got the lake view out there. You've got this building in front of you, but there are other units with better views. Um, that's Korea Park, another uh, condo building that has a bit better views, but probably more expensive. But we're on the 26th floor. So let me show you folks how high we are up. So um, if you're afraid of heights, this probably won't be the best option for you, but you know, look at the stunning views. I mean, you can see Lake Ontario right there. You've got square one on the left, and then you got a little garden space at the bottom. Again, very nice location right in downtown Mississauga. You can actually see the airport from here as well. See the airport towers over there. Again, you got the heat pump right here. So this is something I really like. You got air conditioning and heating all built in. And some things that I look for is if there's any leaks in the ceiling, uh, potential um, issues there. But it looks like it's, it's got the stucco ceiling. It's not my favorite type. You see all that popcorn stuff? Not my favorite, but you know, that's what the builders have done. Okay, let's take a look at this this master bedroom. This master bedroom is pretty massive. Looks like they got a king bed here. This is huge. You got a space to put a TV if you like. Um, you got a little desk or maybe you could put your dresser. Uh, yeah, this is very large actually. And then you've got the ensuite bathroom. So this is nice. So you, the guests could use the one over there, the powder room, and the owners could just exclusively use this portion. Again, it's all um, basic finishes. They put some quartz countertops here, um, but everything else is from the standard uh, finishes from the builder. So I would probably do a little bit of renovation, but that's just me. You could still live in it the way it is. So this unit, it's, uh, it's beautiful the way it is. Like it's very central, right downtown Mississauga. It has really beautiful views. It's perfect for first time home buyers. It has one bedroom, like a perfect for a couple that just coming into the country and uh, they're looking for a place to live. Reach out to me. I can show you more units like this or more like in, in uh, the square one area. So if, you, if you're looking for an investment and uh, you want to buy it just to rent it out, it comes with one parking spot and one locker. So it's perfect if you're looking to, uh, to, to just make some money out of it. You just can rent it for $2,400 a month. It's very central. It has the uh, stores down here for uh, convenience stores. Uh, it has a medical center downstairs. It has a dental and 24 hours grocery store downstairs. What else you can ask for? Okay, so right now I'm at a listing here on Kerwin Avenue, right here close to Hillcrest here, Ontario. 
It's also near square one, the ghost station. So it's a very really nice pocket of homes. So let's take a look and see what this one's all about. Okay, so as you enter, you've got this foyer here. You've got a stairs leading up. It's kind of like a split level. Okay, so you got some hardwood floors here and then an ensuite located right here. So as we walk up, you have a living room here with a balcony. So this is nice. You got a balcony right over here. Uh, one thing I like about this is that it's pretty big, spacious. Um, this one is, says about 1,100 to 1,500 square feet. Um, there is a dining room that's blocked off, so it must be closed off to the other side. And as we enter in here, um, you've got a kitchen with some old cabinetry. It's all original cabinets. Um, could use some updating. The floors are decent and the fridge is actually located right there. Um, yeah, it's not bad. You got some laminate countertops. And when you enter, you've got here your dining room. Again, it's blocked off right over there. Um, yeah, this one is not bad. I like that the windows are all brand new. So I wonder if the condo corporation has updated that. Um, nice wood floors. The backyard is decent. Yes, there's no grass, low maintenance. rest of this home. Yeah, I like these types of houses because you do get a good price for them. And I'll tell you what the price is towards the end of the video. All right, let's go upstairs. Oh, you've got a very low ceiling going upstairs. Um, looks like wood flooring. And then up here, you've got some brand new laminate. So it looks like upstairs, they've renovated it. Yeah, got laminate floors. All right, let's start with the master bedroom. So we got one, two, three, four bedrooms here. Uh, yeah, look at this one. This is not bad. You could probably fit a king or queen bed in here. It's spacious. Low ceilings. It's got low ceilings, but that's what you get with the older stuff. Uh, Walk-in closet is pretty nice. Let me see if I can fit in here. Oh yeah, you can fit hers and hers in here possibly. All right, here's the second bedroom, well maintained. Oh yeah, let's take a look at this washroom. Whoa, this washroom is really nice, renovated. Now this only has uh, one full washroom upstairs. Oh, I could probably fit in here. I wonder how it look. Yeah, I'm 5'8", and yeah, this one is good. I like their dark fixtures here. The black fixtures are in right now. And here's the other two bedrooms, decent size. You know, then you got your backyard views. I like that it's private out there in the back. It's, got, it's like a cul-de-sac here. All right. And then the fourth bedroom. And this one fits a uh, queen. It's not bad. Okay, we're gonna go check out the basement now. Okay, I thought it's nice to have laundry right here. And then you block this door off so that you can rent this portion out. Um, I'm not sure how legal it is to have this, but it's something we have to inquire about. Um, yeah, so you got like a kitchenette here, you got a stove, you got the fridge. Looks like this would be the living room area. Um, however, there's no bedroom I noticed, so I guess it'll be more of a studio. Hmm, huh, interesting. Okay, so let's look in here. Okay, there's the other full bathroom here with the shower. Uh, not bad. Let's take a look at the backyard. Oh, nice backyard. But my only concern would be is that where would the bedroom be? So um, 
I'm sure they could still make it work by putting a small little um, just a bed here, but that's about it. That's, that would be my only concern with this one. But overall, not bad, and I will tell you guys more details about the price. All right, so the first condo was a one bedroom and a den with one bath at 639,000 they were asking. The monthly fee is $485.32 and the size was 600 to 700 square feet located at Burnham Thorpe and Living Arts. The second condo was a one bedroom and a den with two bath. 650,000 was the asking price. The monthly fee was $466.66. 600 to 700 square feet of living space located in the corner of Burnham Thorpe and Duke of York. All right, the third property was a townhouse, a four bedroom, two and a half bath with a basement suite. Price at $796,900 with a monthly fee of $441. And the square footage was 1,200 to 1,300 square feet, located in Huron, Ontario and the Dundas area. All right, thank you for watching towards the end of the video. My partner Joanne and I, we love doing videos like this, showcasing all our uh, different properties that are available here in Mississauga and the GTA. So make sure you tap that subscribe button, hit that little bell so you're notified every single time that we do a brand new video. And if you are wanting to reach out to us, we're getting lots of phone calls, emails, and text messages. You can reach us at our number right here on your screen or by visiting our website at findgtalistings.com. And we have a new feature where you can book an appointment with Joanna and I through our Calendly link. Just uh, click down the link below and you can set, schedule a free 30 minute consultation with us and we can help you out on your buying, selling or renting needs. Again, if you're thinking about making a move to Mississauga, we got your back when it comes to Mississauga living. Thank you for watching us. We'll see you on the next video.